Well, what's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Stellaris. This is the Utopia DLC we were playing as Wolf Empire. Last episode, we were gonna start probably planning an attack here against our neighbors to the south. Um, the Orvax Union here, Quarvax Union, however the fuck you say that. Let's see. Um, if we go down, let's alphabetize these really quickly. And I want to see element of P. Here they are. Okay. <clears throat> they're currently at war. They're rated as equivalent to us. They have a similar fleet power, but their naval capacity is inferior. So we need to continue working on building up the, f the main fleet here. We also need to bring the fleet home. So let's uh, have them come back and orbit here in our home planet. So we're going to move them back. Let's get it going here. Uh, we're also going to need to construct some invasion forces. So we already have uh, a small uh, assault army of three here at Wolfpack, the home planet. And so we're going to queue up some more of those. The fleet, meanwhile, is on the move. So we do have the ability to get new battleships. Uh, not making a ton of minerals right now, unfortunately. And so if we keep looking down this way, for example... Hmm. Where can I build up some more minerals? We can definitely put in a mining station here. Right? Uh, we can also... We're looking at Irkadessa here. Hmm. I can upgrade food, for example, but no m mineral opportunities there. And then here's my mineral opportunities. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and put in a basic mine here. We're going to build another basic mine right here. Losing, definitely losing some energy now because the fleet is on the move. Core sector system, Xenozoo growth time might be helpful. Let's get that one, genome mapping. Construction ship uh, is pretty dead at the moment. Let's see if we can mine out anything else over here. Yeah, we can mine out this physics here, so let's get that in. Uh, we've also got a little bit of minerals and energy over on this side of our little pocket of the empire that's up here towards the north. So guys are moving in now. Let's move to fastest. Uh, again, minus 23 in... We've got uh, an energy. We've got... We want to make sure that we've got uh, all of our solar panels in here on our space stations, which looks like we do. So that's good news. If we go back to the surface here of our home world, everybody is pretty much teched up and upgraded up here in these planets. Looking good here. Can go ahead and upgrade the mine here. We do need to give this pop a power plant like this. He needs 10 pops in order to upgrade his capital. So let's give him an extra mineral upgrade here and here. And then we can clear out this tile blocker, but I'm going to wait until we get some more pops in, really. Making 49 unity right now. We're working on, well, uh, supremacy and diplomacy simultaneously. We've got uh, two ascension perks, the technological ascendancy and the imperial prerogative there. Nice. Growth time just finished out. Resettlement costs, cheaper war demands, naval capacity. That's a great one to have. We'll get the extra naval capacity in there. Saving up some extra minerals right now. We have 8 battleships, 14 cruisers, 13 destroyers, and 19 corvettes. So it's probably time to construct some extra corvettes here. Like this. Just because you want a lot of those in your fleet, right? Um, if we go to the ship designer, let's make sure we can't upgrade anything else here. Yeah, sitting at a plus two energy. We do have the capacitors in there. We've got level four lasers, some cloud lightning stuff, and some fusion missiles and disruptors. So a decent mix, I would say, of overall weaponry there. So here they come now. All of those new Corvettes are going to collect for us there. Construction ship is finished, so let's take him then and tell him to mine out these minerals. We're going to need those. Science ships are automatically exploring as well. So that must mean that this world here has nothing to offer. 
Let's see. Yeah, he has nothing to offer. Put you back on automatic exploration. Up to making up to 111 minerals now per tick, so that's good. Upgrade you, the planetary capital there. It'd be nice to have some extra research here, wouldn't it? Let's build a basic science lab like this, and I'm actually going to move this pop over. So we've got uh, a decent surplus in food right now. Upgrade your capital and power plant there. Looking okay here and here and here. Yep, all of those are already upgraded. All right, so the fleet's made it to home here. Only getting plus eight in in uh, energy right now. So this new planet here, I'm hoping, is going to represent a nice boost to our energy production. So let's put in a couple power plants here and here, like this. Back over this way now, looking okay there. All right, all right. What is my design on the cruisers right now? Yeah, they have those space torpedoes. Those are important. So let's uh, go ahead and construct out a new cruiser like this. So, okay, so sitting at 13.9k now in fleet power. And I want to double check and see how we match up against our potential new enemies here. We're rated as equivalent still. Their fleet power is now inferior and naval capacity is now inferior compared to ours. So we did just build up the new spaceports there, so that's good. Uh, construction ship is free here again, so let's get these couple of extra energy credits in. This one, this star here falls within my neighbor's space over there. So we want to probably go after a couple of their worlds here, and here along my border, and here especially, so we can expand in. Defensive Pact Invitation for not us. Let's end this charade. So we just got insulted. Okay. Let's also double check and see if we have any allies. I can't remember. Don't think we do. Okay, I have Federation Association status. I am also have a Defensive Pact with the Skildari. Yeah, who are the friendliest towards us right now. The Antherians here uh, are at war, so I cannot necessarily grab a defensive pact with them or anything like that. Uplift, Hydroponic Farm level 3s, Army Upkeep. I'm going to go Hydroponic Farm level 3 there as we continue to grow the Empire, right? Okay, so looking good. Non-Aggression Pact Invitation, sure. Okay. So that it was the octopus looking empire, the octopussies. Let's see, where are you located? Fleet order has been canceled. Is it these guys here, Shinor? I don't think so. Oh, okay, they're all the way up here. So that's not big news at all. Scientists just died here, so let's replace them. Recruit, uh, let's give you this young buck here to go in. And then I'm going to put you back on Automatic Explore. Nice. Uh, active sensor links now with my friends to the north. Uh, I'm going to actually decline that. I don't want them to be able to see that. Same there with the Chinors. I don't think that makes a lot of sense for us right now, at least. Okay, we've got some energy here that we can go ahead and mine out. So let's get that. Nice. Uh, this one here has been surveyed. We've get, we're currently getting that physics research out of that, so that's good. 14.2k now in overall fleet power. Let's go ahead and add another battleship into our fleet, as well as a couple more destroyers, right? Some of those smaller ships to support our big capital ships. And you can see by fleet mix right now, I've got 15 cruisers. 13, only 13 destroyers, so we definitely have to beef up the both the corvette and destroyer levels until we get a little bit closer to our overall fleet limit here. We'll get a couple more corvettes in the mix. Yep, you can see them coming in now. Those destroyers only showing as a total power of 80 right now. That's a little disappointing. 
Uh, but we'll we'll get better here as we continue to research out new stuff. Zero point reactors coming in, for example, and that's going to be big for us. Let's swing back around here and upgrade some of our planetary production items here. Uh, we can actually upgrade this engineering facility like this. Engineering is going to be very important. Uh, here we go. Energy. Desperately need that energy. Uh, lacking 11 minerals here. I definitely want to upgrade the beef, this one. Um, I don't think I have... Do I have the ability to build a Batharian power plant? No. So for the time being, upgrade you and you like this. Time for a new research here. We can go with improved fighter wings or Durasteel armor. I'm going to pick the armor for now. Double check the battleship. Do we have... No. We could go with a hangar core here, for example. This one I like. So let's give him uh, another laser, uh, a plasma uh, disruptor here. Fleet maneuvers carry out as planned. He's He's got enough room for another... Okay, he's got enough room for another medium weapon here, so maybe another round of fusion missiles, potentially, here. And then here, we're going to give him a basic bomber wing to help out. All right, so time to load up with some power. Boom, boom, boom. Like this, we also need to get some more shields in. And then what happens if I add more power here? Well, that's a lot of power. Uh, let's go like this. Awesome. We can actually probably move down here as well. Nope. Okay. So let's keep that because we've got two capacitors on the model as well. So save, yes. 15.372 here. We'll see what happens after we finish the upgrades. If that's better. Yes, it is. Okay. Society research plus 5% food. No thanks. Frontier clinic might be interesting. Ship modifier with the fleet academy. Naval capacity. Yeah. Um, let's get that in case we get into a nasty war. In the future, we're going to need to call up extra reinforcements. Construction ship finished off this one. So let's go research there. Plus 14 energy right now. So, oh, nice. Uh, available for another tradition right now. So we're working on the supremacy. Uh, the admiral skills, I think, is most important to us right now as we gear up for war. Let's go back here now and go to armies and queue up some more assault armies like this. If we go to the surface, uh, these are all food upgrades, so we're looking okay. Might actually be time to upgrade a couple of you right now. And then food upgrades, we're looking okay there. And here, looking good there. Okay, here is an opportunity to upgrade some resource type stuff. So, extra energies, right? We'll get those in. Extra minerals. Want to beef up our engineering research. Uh, this one's showing us an extra two food. Let's actually give you a mineral mining network. Yes. Making 115 minerals right now per tick. Uh, minerals, yes. More minerals and power. Awesome. All right, let's take what we have left then and build out some more ships. So two cruisers we can put in. Or excuse me, um, Corvettes. And then I think that's all we can do in terms of construction for now. Science ship, let's go ahead and... There's no route for this guy, huh? Where is he? I guess he's trapped all the way over here, which is interesting. Uh, what Ships-wise, we're currently on warp level 2. These science ships need to upgrade to warp 2 here. Like this, okay. And can he get home now then? Yep, let's try. And you need to upgrade as well, so he's going to try to make it back. New society research, army upkeep, resettlement cost, naval capacity. I like this one at the leader lifespan. That's going to help... Um, Protect some of my influence there. I think I want to take these three planets from uh, these guys. They may only ha that may be all they have. We'll have to see here just in just a little bit. 
Still have some additional room here for another... Uh, should we do a cruiser? His total damage is 33. Versus a battleship, his damage is 67. Seems about right. 13. And damage of 7. So the cruiser and the battleship there are the most bang for my buck right now for sure. 9 battleships, 15 cruisers right now. Let's build another cruiser then. Add him to the fleet. We're at Sid against 17k in overall power right now. Double check the stats as well. And where are we? Right here. They're rated as inferior to us, definitely. So, more minerals and power here. Awesome. Upgrade your capital. More power there. Give you a couple food upgrades as well. Fleet maneuvers canceled. Well, that sucks. My uh, Admiral is pretty damn good as well, which is cool. We've got 13 assault armies that would be ready to move into action if needed. So we'll give him a general there eventually. But let's double check here the diplomacy again. Make sure we're not going to be going to war with any of his other neighbors, right? Trade deals, rivals, non-aggression pacts. Oh, he did grab a defensive pact with the Skeldari there. Damn it. So that's disappointing for sure. Uh, scientists just passed away, so let's recruit another one. Get you in there, young guy. He's got a really good bonus there. He's maniacal. And he starts out as a level 3, so that's pretty good. Construction ship is sitting idle still. And, ooh, look at this. The Azerians to my north have sort of blocked me out from this little pocket here, this little frontier station. Uh, if we go to the Azerians... Where are you guys? Relative power. Yeah, they're overwhelming. And closed borders. Not with me. Okay, good. So the good news is we can still get there if we need to. Uh, trying to figure out how to boost that up a little bit so we, we can actually get some territory back right there. Non-aggression pact was broken between the Azerians and the Skildari. Leader lifespan is finished. So that pretty much puts the kibosh on us trying to go to war down here. Damn it. Um, Antherians. Uh, I think the Antherians are actually all the way up here somewhere. Where are they? Looking around, looking around. Where are you? Oh, they're right here. Okay. Ethereum Union. Ethereum Confederacy is broken out. So which one is it? It is the Union. Okay. So the Confederacy here would be going up against us. Which I think would put us at a humongous disadvantage, probably. Plus, I don't have a ton of influence here. I've only got making a half point per... Tick. Let's just uh, go to the war screen and see what would happen, potentially. Communicate. Declare war. Invite attackers. Opponents. Yeah, I would have three opponents there. I'd invite attackers. Um, the Azerians may be willing to help us here. That's interesting. And they're going to say no. They will vote no. Okay. So that's good to know. So we're going to have to do some diplomatic work here to try and figure out how to expand. Oh, nice. The uh, armor just finished up. We do need to help out with better missiles. But let's go in and change over all of our new armors to Durasteel here. Uh, do you have enough power to, yeah, give you better shields? Okay. Destroyers. 
You have all of the best sh current shields available, so that's good. Boom. Alright, uh, the cruiser's the same. Let's give you your better, better armor here, here. This guy could probably upgrade a bit. What happens if I go shield level 3? Nope. Damn it. So we're just going to have to put stick with improved deflectors right there for now. The battleship, you need a little armor, don't you? Boom. Okay, save. Yes. Good. Society research now. Core sector systems, frontier hospital. I'm going to go with the crew quarters and engineering bay there. Just helps out a little bit with your, your ship cost. The Mykonas mandate here. Um, they're currently rated as equivalent. Their technology is superior to ours, unfortunately. Yeah, they're going to keep squeezing. The Azerians are going to keep squeezing here towards the center of the galaxy. Interesting stuff. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you next time.